Last time on Tim Plays a Game. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. Interesting. <laughs> it's Hogwarts. Really? Huh. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. He just had that lying around, okay? He just had that offhand. Oh yeah, it tastes terrible. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Changed my clothes, too. Huh. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough <laughs> for you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. <laughs> On your way, Mr. Weasley. <laughs> Let's have some more fun. Where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the <laughs> hours away. <laughs> what nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite <laughs> impossible sometimes. Can I just go around so, for the rest of the game POing people? I <laughs> directed the Department of Magical Games and Sports the best. Ministry on you. <laughs> Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. <laughs> now, where is my elf? Very well. Toujours pure. Ha! Toujours pure. Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. With me or Scrunch anyone else. It's best to keep out of Master's <laughs> way. Oh. <laughs> Where am I? Yeah, Professor Fitzgerald, <laughs> can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. <laughs> Alright. What's up, everyone? You it's... shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. It's Tim from Tim Plays Game here you with Hogwarts. Move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. Hogwarts Legacy for Xbox Series X. The first X. you will need is a cloak. And we jumped into the book. <laughs> we blue skadooed. Now we must too. <laughs> in this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Like that one right there? Kinda hard to avoid that thing. Oh god. She's Louise, okay. Death don't miss. <laughs> Get through the town without being noticed or being seen. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. God, okay. You're like right there, though. I'd best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. There's a bunch of them inside this house. The time is just right. He 
doesn't see me. I think I'm good. I see a staircase straight ahead. Staircase. Everything's black and white, I can't tell. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's hard to tell what a staircase is when it's all destroyed. <laughs> oh god. No duh, death. <laughs> Why is he looking for me? <laughs> I still got a good 30 years left, maybe. Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Chance. Come in, Neve. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Where I need to go? Tell me where I need to go, but there's like there's like no way to well. There's no path. Okay. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. So we can turn around, I guess. Come on, turn around, buddy. You got better things to do. <laughs> I ain't got time for this. This guy again. Get a life. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be a way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Go this way. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. <laughs> This is kind of creepy now. <laughs> oh god. Okay, one's looking at the ground, one's looking outside the door. Now's my chance. Now's your chance, okay. God. <laughs> That's the way forward. Give me that mysterious cloak. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. Wasn't I invisible before? I mean, thanks to the mysterious cloak, but I, I had the spell. <laughs> Get out of here. Nope. Yeah, I'll just 
just walk through here. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. Cool. Okay, so the invisibility cloak is like more stealth. Which is what I've always wanted, thank you, game. <laughs> this is the way forward. Finally a tree looks like free. it will kill me. Now a tree doesn't look friendly. It's not a friendly tree. The tree is evil. Uh, okay, it's disappearing. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, I just think that now that I'm in a storybook, everything I think is gonna kill me. <laughs> and I'm not wrong. You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching. But this time you will be unable to hide. What the heck was the cloak for? Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Okay, this is the three uh, death. This is the Deathly Hallows. This, this is the wand that has immense power. Uh, then we have the cloak that grants invisibility. And then there's like a stone that uh, stone that does the third thing. I forget what thing. I I forget what power. Defender! Bombarder! Oh, dang. Revelio! Dang it. Oh, it's just one of the potion. Alright. I can't access gear either. Revelio. Apparently Revelio doesn't do crap in this when everything's black and white. <laughs> Defender. So do I get to keep these things or no? Also, am I wearing? Am I not wearing glasses right now? <laughs> Doesn't look like I'm wearing glasses. Not that that's a bad thing or anything. Revelio. 
Keep, yeah, I'm using Revelio on an instinct now just to look around for things. Like, I realize now that there's everything's black and white, I can't see what's being highlighted. <laughs> and if I could see, it probably wouldn't be very noticeable. I'm gonna fight this guy now. I'm ready for him. I'm using up so many of these potions. Bombarder. Stupid 
Tego against that, but I can't get it knocked back. Your turn, buddy. Get over here. No, nope, he's not fighting me. All right, fine. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Run away, death. Wait, did I just beat death? Holy crap. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what that third thing does. I'm, I'm sure they'll tell me right now. Okay, yeah, it's a simple stone, but it's not a simple stone. <laughs> Why can't I remember that third one? I know I'm going to feel dumb in about five seconds. Mysterious stone. Yeah, this is definitely the Deathly Hallows. Oh, let's him talk to the dead. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. Great. <laughs> She's gone. Neve's dead. Oh no. Dear sweet Neve. Dead. Let us always honor her memory. We won't be the same without her. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm back and I'm gone. <laughs> Got everything we faded away besides that. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. You want me to follow it or what? Whoa. Witness the memory. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Okay. Remember that as you witness my memory. I guess we're going to the pensive. Mm, a tear. <laughs> oh, the statue's leaking again. Call the plumber. Get 
your head in there. <laughs> oh, color. Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Was it? More of Isadora. And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We so Goblin Silver is a way to contain. Any of this may have the emotions, the dark Certain magic. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Only have imagined the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? In. What the fuck? You okay. Feel it. Oh, it's Adora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Honestly, I think they're both right, but. I mean, yeah, look, don't, don't fear it, but embracing it, that's not always a good thing. <laughs> Baby steps, you know? <laughs> Take a step in the right direction, but, you know, watch where you're going. Sometimes if we go back... <laughs> There's nothing there. Oh, that's the third trial down. Back to the map chamber. Alright, keeper number four, what do you got for me? Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? Dang, now I gotta get to work. It is, <laughs> and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. <laughs> Although I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. Great, I gotta do more side quests. I shall require time to <laughs> Go do more side quests. the other keepers. Come back to me when you're when you have we gained have ten no levels. choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? That's it. Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Good idea. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Yeah. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. 
Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire. <laughs> Alright, good to know he's a little <laughs> bit of a lightweight. Alright. So we got the hallowed hero, wield a deathly hallow. So I guess we'll be getting some letters real soon Tell me what they want me to do next. I think I actually have some side quests I want to get on. To. No. We could do that one. Actually, that's far off. Yeah, let's go to Poppy in the Forbidden Forest, and then we'll still talk to Natty. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. Uh, okay, Professor Weasley sent me a blank letter. <laughs> Alright, so... So, Deke wants to talk about Phoenix Rising. <laughs> We'll go to Sebastian. I think I'm going to do the, uh, yeah, we'll do Poppy, then Natty. I want to do some of the side stuff just to get some experience. Uh, dang, Deke, I swear to God, if you want me to catch more animals for you. <laughs> just give the guy some Pokeballs and head, head down to the forest let him do it himself. <laughs> Before we get to Poppy, let's do this one, Charlo. Rebellio. I knew exactly what they wanted me to do. Ah. Confringo. Come on, bro. Right in front of you. There we go. Okay, I gotta do the. Okay. Whenever I light it, it goes down to the water and then puts itself out, so. I need the slow thing. You're a deadly great spider. <laughs> Alright, so I need this one and this one. Well, I just need, actually, yeah. Just the first, yeah, the red one, yeah, top and right one. Alright. So that one there. Alright, here we go. Confringo, arrest the momentum. Confringo, arrest the momentum. And where's the last one? There it is. Confringo, arrest the momentum. Confringo. Yes. Those Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Alright, another one down. Now it's Poppy. Fast way. Poppy, I can what do you got for me? I can do this. They will want to help. Who? Oh, the centaurs, right. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and- Don't surprise, surprise the things that can I kill suppose. you easily! I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being yeah. surprised. We don't have a choice if we want to help the snitches. Fine. There's no other option. I'll be able to 
tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. <laughs> what is it? You're just it's hoping... nothing, truly. You just hope you're not over... <laughs> overrating them, yeah? No secrets What's to the hide. Word? That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? they don't yes, don't have to help you, they can kill you. <laughs> you're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- don't ever say it'll be fine. That relic is the key to saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcroft as soon as you can. That was weird how we just saw Sebastian, heard Sebastian's voice there. Put the wand down. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. Well, good thing they knew we were young. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will <laughs> well, leave here don't look at me. <laughs> He's not looking at me. I've I did I did a lot of slaughtering last with you. Holy crap. Mark my <laughs> words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Uh, well, we got one to help us, so maybe that'll be enough. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me. Golden Sigids are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? <laughs> In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. All right. Well, that was frightening. <laughs> I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer Almost got to turned into a human pincushion right there. Good moonstone. God. <laughs> what do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Because he knows where it is. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. <laughs> the fact that he could kill us easily. How Aww. quickly he left. <laughs> what was his name? Doran. Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. All right, let's do this. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, okay. We gotta wait again. More waiting. <laughs> Can't just do the dang quest. All right, Natty, you better have an actual quest for me instead of just... <laughs> oh, this is interesting. We got to do Sebastian side quest and then... Okay. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? About time. <laughs> I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as right. my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. 
We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. All right. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Right, so let's speak with these people. See what they know. Hopefully they're all in a straight line. Maybe. Mrs. Rape should be nearby. There we go. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rape, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night oh, no. and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. Jeez. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Has she, like, talked to anyone and told them? Yeah, talk to, like, the Aurors or, I don't know, magical minister. I don't know. Someone, please. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't Great. know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. well I guess we're the only hope Please now. don't put yourself in danger. <laughs> Somehow, if you, okay. Mrs. Ray, we do hope you will reconsider helping us with your, with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own, but we are be beginning to lose our patience. I know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in working together. Shall we expect a response by the week's end? Best to keep this between us, if you understand our meaning. Oh, God. <laughs> Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Yeah. Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Yeah, but, but, but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I've nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, okay. He's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. Oh, and when I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past oh, six months. Oh, okay. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. Great. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping. But I can't keep it out for much yeah. longer. <laughs> I'm terrified to yeah, say you anything. You only, I could never what's live the word? Rosie. You can only cook the books for so long before they burn. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. 
I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. <laughs> Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Revelio. Kind of want to look around here. Stop I could just feel, but must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation. And so I refused. Well, he's gonna kill you. Uh, yeah, it's. <laughs> if you had spoken out against right. him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But. <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had Aww. the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and pleated in gold. Aww. One and day, Harlow, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, mm -hmm. laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. Right. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Alrighty then. Harlow does not like people talking. As you already know. Yeah, well, I don't like I've him. Spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. All right, Natty. Oh, I got stuck in the wall. <laughs> it's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Oi, it was just there. Oh. Revelio. See that. Come back here, you. Blast, he got away. <laughs> no. That he must be around here somewhere. Natty? Natty! Natty. Oh, wand. that's not good. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. <coughs> She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Revelio. Oh, the trail. Oh, okay. Just in here. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> oh boy.
Matthew must have been taken this way. I need to it's find out quickly. in the cellar. <laughs> Footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Yeah, and we're going to do that next time, guys. <laughs> so that is going to wrap things up for tonight's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to Tim Plays Game. And stay tuned for more Hogwarts Legacy videos. Till next time, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off. And have a good night, guys.